Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Ron. In our today's video, we will talk about combined variation. This topic is part of our series about variation. Last time, we have uploaded a video about direct variation and inverse variation. So this is our third topic for this series. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let's talk about combined variation. In combined variation, it involves both direct and inverse variation. So that is one of the things na kailangan nyo matandaan when it comes to variation. And next, if you encounter this kind of equation, y is equal to kx over z, your k is the constant of variation. So for us to have a deeper understanding about combined variation, let's do examples for combined variation. We have here if x varies directly as y and inversely as z, and x is equal to 10 when y is equal to 5 and z is equal to 3, for what value of z will x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4? First step is for you to create a general equation for this kind of variation. So we will be using this part of the problem to create a variation equation. x varies directly as y and inversely as z. The direct translation of that is simply x is equal to ky over z. This is your first step. And next, our second step is to find the constant of variation simply by using this part of the problem. Uh, you will notice that all of the variables x, y, and z are given. So that will be the signal that you will be finding the value of k using those variables. So to find the value of k, you have find k. You have x is equal to 10, y is equal to 5, and z is equal to 3. Substitute all those variables to this given equation. So we have 10 as the value of x is equal to k. Here y is equal to 5 over the value of z, which is 3. So simplifying this equation, it will give you 10 times 3 because we need to multiply this by 3 is equal to 5k because we can eliminate 3 here. And then simplifying this equation, it will give you 30 is equal to 5k. And for us to find the value of k, we only need to divide the whole equation by 5. We can cancel it, and then your k is simply equal to 6. This is the constant of variation. After finding the constant of the variation, go back to this equation and substitute k. So we can have the real equation for this problem. So given this, it will be transformed as x is equal to 6y over z. Again, y x is equal to 6y over z because we have changed the value of k to 6. And for the problem itself, for what value of z will x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4? Remember? We are asked to find the value of z if your x is equal to 3 and your y is equal to 4. All you need to do is to substitute the given variables. So we have your x is equal to 3, so 3 is equal to 6 times your y, which is 4, over z. So manipulating this equation, simply you can multiply both sides by z. But I suggest 
this one is much better or much easier cross multiplication you have your invisible one cross multiply oh by the way before we do that simplify muna natin yung numerator this one this will be 3 is equal to 24 over z and then you can cross multiply so you have here 3z is equal to 24 and finding the value of z simply divide both sides of the equation by 3 so this is 1 or z is equal to 8 this is the value of z for problem number 1 now let's move on with example number two. If f varies directly as g and inversely as the square of h and f is equal to 20 when g is equal to 50 and h is equal to 5, find f when g is equal to 18 and h is equal to 6. So again, first step is to create the general equation using this part of the problem f varies directly so you need to put here f is equal to directly as g so k g over because inversely we have your inversely over the square of h so you have h squared again f varies inversely varies directly as g so we have kg and inversely, that's why we have over the square of h square. And then, next step natin is to find k. Find k. The given r, we have this variables. f is equal to 20. Your g is equal to 50. And your h is equal to 5. We need to substitute those variables to the given or to our translated equation. So you have here 20 for f is equal to your k times your g, which is 50, over your h is 5, and then 5 squared. Simplifying your equation, it will give you 20 is equal to 50k over 25. Right after this, you can cross multiply you have your 1, so you have 50k is equal to what is 20 times 25, that will give you 500. Okay? And then to find k, simply divide both sides by 50. Your k is equal to 10. This is your constant of variation. Now, right after we found out the value of k, let's go back with this equation and substitute the value of k. So our new equation is f is equal to 10g over h squared and let's have the main problem where we are asked here find f when g is equal to 18 and h is equal to 6 so we need to find the value of f if your g is 18 and your h is equal to 6 substitute the value of g and h so you have here f is equal to 10 times 18 over 6 square. Simplifying this to give you f is equal to 180 over 36. And 180 over 36 is simply equal to 5. Therefore, the value of f in the given problem is none other than 
5. So I hope you learned something from this video about combined variation. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated in our latest video. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!